Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. It's going to be a kind of a short video, but it, hopefully it's a very informative video and something that's going to help some other people out. I've seen a couple videos on YouTube about this topic, but they're like 30 minutes long. I'm going to try to do a condensed version of it. So what we're going to be doing today is bypassing the fuel pump relay on the Tipham system on my 2011 Dodge Ram. Now I've already previously diagnosed this. I will show you how to diagnose this problem, but... It's a big problem. I think it's on 06 and up, uh, Chrysler products, Dodge products. It's called a totally integrated power module. And basically, it's a fuel pump relay that is actually soldered onto the fuse box that you can't just replace unless you send it off and have somebody solder a new relay on under a microscope, all of this. What had happened was on my 2011 Ram that's right here behind us, all of a sudden, it was cranking but not starting. Really just seemed like a fuel pump. But I started reading online about this Tipham system and how um, it would just fail and the fuel pump would actually be good and it was just a fuel pump relay. So I ran a little jumper wire uh, from two fuses that I will show you and fuel pump came on so I knew it wasn't the fuel pump. I moved it around again and the truck started. So what I'm going to show you today is how to bypass that. So we're going to jump in the ram here I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood obviously. And come around to the front to the fuse box. We're out with the hood open. Just pop open the fuse box. And this is kind of overall layout. So the ones that we're actually going to be working with today is the M7, which is the rear cigarette lighter that has two positions that I'll tell you about here in a second. And the M25, which is your actual fuel pump relay fuse. So what we need to do is remove both of these. So we'll go ahead and pop the M25 out. And we will pop the M7 out. Now the M7 has two different slots in it. This, the left two slots is power with just the key and the right two slots, if you want power always, is to put it in the right two slots and it gives power to the rear cigarette lighter continuously. Now the way that we're gonna test the fuel pump first is with this Tipham bypass cable. This, I got this off of Amazon for about $17 and it allows you to not only test your fuel pump but also bypass that fuel pump relay to get your truck back on the road. Now I don't know if this is a permanent solution or a temporary solution to what we need to do but from everything I read online you can leave this on long term. Eventually I'm going to get the Tipham system actually fixed but I think to buy a new one is like a thousand dollars but there are some companies that you can send the actual fuse box to they will solder you a new relay and send it back for around two hundred dollars but for sixteen dollars this will get us back on the road. So to test the fuel pump you will plug in one end of this cable to your M25 slot and then you will bring this around to the right two terminals of your M7 which is the rear cigarette lighter. Now once you plug those in if you come to the back you can hear the fuel pump pumping. That will not hurt your truck from what I've understood. Do not hold me to that and do not blame me if it does hurt your truck but that is a way to test the fuel pump to make sure that it is working. So the fuel pump relay itself is the prong that's the furthest away from you. Basically what we're going to do is bypass that prong and get power to the other side with this cable. So we will plug this into two slots in the fuse box which like I said is just power when you have the key on. So we will go and see now that we know the fuel pump is good and pumping if the truck will actually start. So now that that's plugged in, let's jump inside of the truck and see if this thing will fire up the way that I think it will. Just give it a second and let the fuel pump prime. And she started right up. So guys, there you have it. This little cable was $16.99 on Amazon. I will put the link in the description below. So if you need a quick fix to get your truck back on the road and you have diagnosed it as the Tipham, like the totally integrated power module, Tipham for short obviously, check out that link, grab you a cable, do exactly what I just showed you, and that should get your truck back on the road, uh, at least for the short term. Like I said, I don't know if long term that this thing, you know, is sustainable. But from everything I've read online, it is. Um, so you can either choose to not fix that, or you can choose to fix that. Don't blame me if something goes wrong, because obviously I don't know. So if you like this video, if you like the channel, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.